Good morning. in groups in the entire history of human race. But this does not mean we cannot be united. This unity can be only found in our Catholic Church. This oneness of the Church is understood not merely as numerical unity, but more on the sense of inner unity. The Church has the unity of faith and love that believes in one God, that lives in one body, in the bond of communion. And we call this one the unity in the Trinity. We have one God, but it has one person. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We find in the Bible the saying, I will remain in the world no longer but we are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one Father, just as you are in me, I am in you. May they be also one with us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. These are the words of Jesus Christ in John 17, 20 to 11. We have to remember that in this world, we have many, di many differences that we need to settle down. But these di differences does, does not mean that we need to be divided, that we need to fight with each other. In, in fact, if we need 
to be united, we need to accept these differences so that we could be united with one another. We believe that the church, which is founded by Jesus Christ, for which he prayed, is undefectively one in faith, one in worship, and one in communion of a single hierarchy. That is according to Pope Paul VI, the creed of the people of God. The church is one because all her, her members agree on one faith. They celebrate the same sacrifice and sacraments, and all are united under one head. This divine unity is present only in the Catholic Church. So remember, this same sacrifice, same sacraments makes us united as one di divine Catholic Church. The church remains unchanged from her birth in Jerusalem until the Pentecost. She has been successful in unifying the millions of people from different races, cultures, languages, and interests. She is successful in imposing one faith, one ethnic to many people. And there is no natural explanation for this phenomenon. The church which was founded by Christ is one and unique because it was the will of God for her. It is clear from the gospel that Christ desired one flock, one shepherd, and we have one great head or founder who is no other than Jesus Christ himself, the founder of the Catholic Church. The church is one because of her soul and because of the Holy Spirit. The Catholic Church is kept united by the profession of our faith, sacraments, ecclesial government, and communion. We have to remember that. I repeat, the Church kept us united because of our profession of faith that we believe in one God. We have the sacraments, the ecclesial government, and communion. We have to remember that even though you came from different places, different cultures, and different countries. Our church is still one and united. You can enter any church, any Catholic or Christian church, wherever you go, because the church is giving worship to the same God. That is why our Catholic church is a visible sign of unity in this world. That is why it is a challenge for all of us, believers, even though we came from different places, different races, different colors, and different cultures, we need to be united because we are just worshiping the same God, we belong to one family, and we belong to one, one church. Let there be peace in this world. May God bless us all. If we want to learn more about our life experience and faith sharing, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to push the notification bell so that you will be updated for all my videos. Thank you so much and mega mega love shout out to all those loyal subscribers and silent viewers. Thank you so much. And may God bless us all. Good day to everyone.